I'm back everybody. Today I'm going to do another Western project and it's going to be very interesting because now you a snapshot. We've got the calibrated scope sensor, which essentially means we can fine tune what sound we want it to listen to. So I want to make a log for this. Uh, see how it goes. Okay, well, can't water log it because I need to put the thing there to have it work. I think. This is going to be said to when I eat an apple or eat anything. Yeah, so I can't water log it. Slightly not. I'm wondering why I want to water log it. It's because it doesn't make sound when it triggers. When it's water logged. But I guess it's going to have to be making sounds. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll do it slightly differently. And I guess I'll have, it, I'll have to turn on the cowboy scope sensors one after another instead of having them all active constantly. Just to avoid some unneeded sound. Especially if you're going to be doing like eat food. Because that will give it away slightly. If they hear that. And I want to make this as sort of not noticeable as possible. Okay, I got the first board up to go. So I'm just going to zoom something. And open the door. And punch some sound. And it didn't take the trap door, did it? Let's try again. Think so. Try that. Oh yeah, trap door technically wasn't open, I think. Oh yeah, that's, oh yeah, that's it. This is closed. That's open. That's open. So I'm technically closing it when it's down like that. Okay. Okay. Other than the like confusion with frequencies. This does actually work. It's pretty much, I got a book, 15 pages, so I can easily go between well, six redstone signal, like 1 to 15, though 15 probably won't be used. I think I'm probably gonna, well, at least in this one, 15 is gonna be used. But, um, explosion or the player dying, uh, yeah, I don't think that's something you wanna do to open your base. <laughs> I guess you'll just spawn inside the base. <laughs> you do the dying method and explosion. Well, uh, you just blow the door up. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. But on the next one, it's so obviously the only issue with this one. So, if I do something that isn't, like if I do one of the other two, lot, the second parts of the code, say, do the end one. Stars, I forget, I forget to lock this. Because, uh, yeah. But yeah, let's say I do the second one then. Open that. You see, you still hear it and you'll, you still hear it. I can't bought log them, but I can I can turn these two to be 15. Which is player dying or explosion, so at least it'd be less likely. If I do a scout sensor without a signal, well, it'll just respond to any sound. It will. Which obviously wouldn't be that good. So, I think I'm going to change it to 15. So, I'll just overpower them. Does mean it's going to be a bit bigger. Yeah, nice thing about this system, though, other than the fact I forgot to uh, properly lock the end, is that, um, yeah, I technically could keep going, although it will be going at an angle. <laughs> <laughs> Which might not be most useful. So, I guess at one point you have to go back a couple bit blocks. Other than that, you could try easily make this a lot longer and more complicated of a code. <laughs> uh, yeah, be in a second. Okay, second version. So this one's a little bit more different. Obviously, it ain't a flat, but it just could easily be stacked up more. So you got the first part, second part, and third part, and. First part is on by default, but all the rest are off. So as soon as this is triggered, so this is the same code as last time, I'm eat a food. One over here it starts looking for a different signal. Yeah, I'm back. Okay, we go. So let's see, this is the second one, just looking for 10. So when I trigger the first one. Yeah, this is really hard to navigate. Uh, let's go to Spectre mode. Okay. So I'm going to trigger the first one. You take the signal out. You move it into this tire block. Into this person's torch. 
which empowers this block, which makes this redstone dust here as a signal strength of 15. And like I said, that's explosion or player dying. So 15 in this is being used as, well, it's essentially being used just to overload redstone. So it doesn't so it doesn't know what to check for other than what's we'll the so I guess that might mean Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to add something onto this because this has an explosion that happens and I think about it. Because then this is also looking for fifteen. It, yeah, that will open the door. So I guess I have to add a little check to make sure the first one has activated recently. Not the first one, I need to add a little check to make sure an explosion hasn't gone off. Yeah, that's pretty simple. Did you have a repeater here to delay it? For a second, then uh, no scope sends actually looking for explosions. That's so why it blocks any signal output. Yeah, that's an easy fix. But yeah. So once this, so once it switched to looking for ten, I have switched to using a button instead of trap doors because the button, when I press it, will go back to being pressable again. So if I eat this. Do that, you see, second one's triggered. So now use another target block to direct redstone into this, into another torch, which then just goes up through this block to this dust up here. Then overloads this one. And then I also got another next turn set to seven, which is to hit sync. Which will be an armor stand in this case. So I should pretty bring over. Yeah, it's our range. <laughs> there we go, got through. So that should be good, so I guess I should probably add the explosion detector just to prevent any uh any cheeky <laughs> opening of the door. Or accidental. Okay, there's a creep I guess. And you need even fifteen. Okay. So if there's an explosion, now it definitely shouldn't blow anything important up. If I do that, the hmm, open fire and set off. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Okay, yeah, that simple tick change is actually ought to. Yeah, I just realised. Uh, side of a sight. So obviously, I detected this side from explosions. I have. Definitely, this is the inside. The outside. When I break an arm stand, that does count as an empty dying, or a mob dying. <laughs> it does open it, <laughs> just a slight oversight. Um, but yeah, to fix it, all I need to do is just add a bead on this side. Oh, scope sensor. Does make it stick out a little bit, but obviously this entire thing could be moved over. So... Example, I could try easily have a door here. What I need to do is just move the redstone along. And it'll still work. The only difference is this time <laughs> it is protected. I understand that. If I remember the set of repeater, the two. That is. Ta Okay, that does stop it from. Okay. The only issue is though, I'm checking the last one. I'm not actually checking the second one. <laughs> Could I easily fit into a lot of places actually? The thing is, I also don't have to have a set to these. I could set it to like actually closing. Okay, trap door. Obviously, it stands up a button. When you press it, it also triggers unpress. So I can't. So buttons really not the best idea for this. But yeah. So I have that source open and close. Um, mounting a mob, you just have like a horse or pig with a saddle and a little pen. That's easily mounting or interacting. You have like villager. Vibration frequencies, iron interactions, landing on any surface. So like jumping. Movement, of obviously movement's probably not the best idea, considering that would <laughs> trigger just you moving generally. 
gliding, dismounting, there's a few you could do. Really. 14 might be a little bit harder. Mobs with players teleporting and spawners. But yeah, it's like 14 you have potential of. So like cold and water level rising, that's 11, block changing. So yeah, if you have 14, you have, this is a 3 pin one, currently. So how many combinations is that? 14 times 14 times 14, isn't it? How you calculate that? 2,744 potentials, I think. My math's correct there? Not sure. It's been a long time. But yeah. I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out. It's actually really small. Oh, I do sort of hate this bit sticking out. But it's not really something you can avoid with locking repeaters. I guess uh, you want to know how to build it. I'm actually going to do this one in the ground because it does have the output towards the top. Okay, so the lectern, comparator, and let's also set that code I want. So again, I'm just going to do eight. How about a scope sensor? Let's on to the left of it, and now a tiger block. We want to make it directional. And we've got the worst stone torch there. Got to get out more. Above the worst stone torch, we're going to put a copper block. Put two more blocks to the side here, and we're going to put worst stone there. Go up two blocks behind it and put a path around the corner. Just put a block there just so we can place the turn down and that'll be whatever code we want it to be. We'll see, you can't choose 15 on this one. Uh, do four, I don't remember what four is still. Let's change it to two, which should be jumping. <laughs> Deadly. Very cool, quickly. Do quick test it. Yeah, jumping. Then you're in the air. Okay, I'm going to put a block down here. I'm gonna get a better output, obviously this one go down there. We don't want that. But if we put a block there, we'll see something straight. We actually want this to turn. So put another target block down. Followed by a redstone torch behind. Which will then go up a block. And we're gonna have where's down on top of that. Then at the front, we're gonna put another cowboy scope sensor. That's because we're doing three pin, that'll be the last one. And obviously we're gonna want comparator and a lectern. Like turn and we place above comparator. Does work. And then obviously change this to whatever code we want this to be. Let's make it 11. I don't remember what 11 was. Okay, now this, now at this point, yes, you could use it. But obviously, this will not be protected against an accidental explosion. An actual explosion happen nearby, or the player dies. It will actually open the door. And uh, yeah, we don't want that. So. Uh, we're going to, have to put in a little check, make sure an explosion hasn't happened. We're going to put a repeater off the scope sensor. We're going to put one facing into a repeater. Put it on two ticks. And we're going to put a scope sensor to the left of that. To the left of it, I mean right of that. Or behind the repeater. So we're just going to do where's the torch and where's the nurse. Just so it's not a luck turn. And so nothing can go wrong. Okay, now this is looking for explosions. All I need to do is just add a repeater on this side. No scope sensor. Exploding happens. This will make sure that this doesn't go off. Yep, blocked it. And that will make sure if you add a door, let's just go for a simple door. It will not open when you didn't want it to open. Okay, now I'm actually going to go ch change this to what I actually use. It's like what the others are. Beam something, open, and hit sink. There you go, my door's open. So I built this out of range. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna try that again, because see, that counts as closing, no opening, which is a separate thing. 
Zoom sync, open sync, and hit sync, and my door's open. So yeah. It's a pin lock. And I'll see. You could just technically keep adding on. It's essentially just a small basic thing. One needs the next, and so on. And obviously, once you start doing four pins, the third pin will be vulnerable to an explosion being activated, which then will obviously mean if they do the four, they do the third pin with explosion. They could just need to crack whatever the last pin is, which will be the one up here. In that case, technically, it would be two pin, but three pin is fine because the second one requires this one main pin to be active and yeah that doesn't that can't be tricked by explosion because it's always on right now yeah the first one can't be tricked by explosion because it's always on second one can be but Third one's tet like essentially is disabled, so you can't follow up. Same thing for day, and uh, yeah, see you next time.